I'm Sean Gables and I'm Ray Fulbaum. The evening commute will be a bit longer for people used to taking I-285 between Church Street and M Memorial Drive. Yeah, that road is shut down after a tanker truck hit a sign overturned and spilled 7,500 gallons of diesel fuel. CBS 46 Sierra Cummings is live near the scene where the traffic continues to be rerouted along that crash route. Sierra, I see traffic moving pretty smooth behind you, though. It's moving, but it's still backed up for a few miles as people search for detours. Although there seems to be some cleanup progress, crews expect to be out here for some more hours. Now, check it out. That tanker truck, it's finally right side up. Now, that took so much time today, but cleaning up the diesel spill even more of a mess. DeKalb police say there was first a wreck, which led to the highway sign collapsing. A truck driver now in critical condition, but it's unclear if that driver was injured because of the crash or by the down sign. Nearly 8,000 gallons of diesel spilled from the 18 wheeler across southbound lanes, causing these delays since about 8 30, this morning. Crews say they're not sure how long cleanup will actually take, but officials explain just how fortunate it is for this to be today's outcome for the truck driver and the others on the road. He was able to, he was not trapped. He was able to get out on his own. And he was transported to the hospital for further evaluation. He was really lucky that it didn't explode because he was carrying 7,500 gallons of diesel fuel. Everyone else is very lucky that they didn't get involved or taken in or harmed in any way during this accident. And the battalion chief went on to say the diesel spill that they're cleaning up is less explosive. So that played a role today in everyone's safety. Now, they believe that truck driver had just filled up his tank before the crash, but they're still working to learn how this all happened. Happen. We'll bring you more live updates throughout this evening. Live in DeKalb, I'm Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News.